Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 5, Episode 12, Thoughts. This episode is called The Real Deal. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to, including this episode, and not for the thing that came out after this episode first premiered. This episode is rated TV 14, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So yeah, before the drone loses the connection, we do see Lash. Very ominous, nice, and yeah. And I love that the logos have all of the, the different, you know, has the, the original, has the Agents of Hydra, has the, the framework, has the space, you know, or future, I guess, is more accurate than space. Let's see, and yeah, I appreciate the, the I think it's Deke who points out how a forest could be scary and yeah you know this is what happens when three monoliths blow up together makes a lot of sense you know that's that is what it would take but yeah that is what happened let's see yeah some some great you know great moments between Mac and Elena and Deke opens up about oranges, and he's... See, we know, because we've been told, don't spray a thing in, in your mouth. You know, just because it smells a certain way doesn't mean you should... He is a bit like a child, you know. He's, he's having to learn things that children learn. And, and yeah, you know, so, Daisy, do you have any childhood memories? And, you know, she tells us, tells Deke what we already know about her childhood, and she's like, I, I didn't mean to be a jerk. And her comeback is epic. Really? I think she even, like, stumbles slightly over, she's like, really? You know, just, yeah. And, and he does admit sometimes he's a jerk on purpose, but he wasn't trying to be a jerk right now. And yeah, very tense action scene as a creeper comes for Deke. And I love the detail that they have the creeper wound Deke. Because yeah, the, the that is clearly, it's, it is a physical presence. It is able to hurt them, which changes things. It would be something else if they could just ignore these things. If at most they were scary to, you know, deal with. But no, specifically... They can actually, they're just as capable of hurting them, of hurting the agents, as the, the real deal. And, and yeah, their fears have come to life. Genuinely a super cool concept, and yeah, love when the show does this sort of thing. Let's see... Right, and, oh, right, this is the part where Deke explains how a horror, how a force could be horrific, which tells me he's watched one of the early animated Disney feature films. Seriously, I've been watching, you know, but I guess roughly one every other week recently. If you haven't watched the, the really old ones in a little while, you might forget, like, almost every single one of them has, like, a scary forest, you know, like obviously Snow White does, we know that, you know, she's scared when she enters the forest, but there's a bunch of other ones that have it. And, let's see, and then, you know, fair enough, you know, Middle America is scared of the forest. Good reason. And, and yeah, I love, you know, so, so, if, if, uh, Fitz is like, you know, so, Deke, you know, and he's he goes off on this whole thing about I am not sacrificing myself. There are oranges, you know, and at the end of it, Fitz is like, no, no, I meant your belt buckle. Can I have your belt buckle? <laughs> and it really does show how little Deke trusts people, which, considering where he comes from, makes sense, and how little he knows Fitz. Fitz is not gonna volunteer someone else. And, yeah, ultimately, Coulson insists it has to be him. 
and you know Daisy delivers the, the devastating line there is no shield and let's see yeah Deke tries to to express you know he's like I'm, I'm sorry that you know and he does not get many words in edgewise and yeah the results of the scan are legitimately very very like it's it makes sense based on what we've been told so far yeah you know it really was just a matter of time a matter of specific wounds uh, before the the he before Colson would succumb to you know hasn't happened yet but it is happening rapidly now and yeah um Props to Elizabeth Henstridge for like switching so subtly from you know regular caring Gemma Simmons to this you know horrifying JLMDS uh, you know just he's suffered enough we've all suffered enough and she's like smothering Elena Let's see and and yeah um. Deke does not get very far in the outside world before he sees this massive military presence. He handles it fairly decently, all things considered. And yeah, some great moments between May and, and Coulson. And I like that he's able to, to get her to crack a smile again. What are the odds that the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man is down there? I, I didn't choose to... Did you choose? He didn't choose either. It's the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And... Let's see... Um, yeah, I will say, you know, the, the hallucinated Mike Peterson does make a really good case, you know, did you really think your skull was on fire, or does it hurt because of the elect electrodes on, on your face for so long, just, yeah. And again, fantastic, you know, J. August Richards, who plays Mike Peterson slash Deathlock, fantastic. You know, we haven't seen him this normal for a long time now, he's been Deathlock for so long. And, yeah, uh, Deke shows up with backup, including some faces we haven't seen in a while. Um, Agent Davis, for example. Oh, possibly, maybe he was the only one. A anyway, he's the only one I definitely recognize looking at the IMDb cast. Moving on, the let's see, yeah, and and you know, hallucinated Mike Peterson, you know, being like telling you know you're literally walking into the light, you're ready, and yeah, very very cool climax with Deathlock joining in, and let's see. Yeah, taking out Hive and the, let's see, yeah, Lash. Prince came back. Huh. Which one? The the Purple Rain or one of the royal family? Please don't let it be one of the incest ones. And so, so many, so many incest princes in... in royal history and let's see the um, oh right and fantastic editing when when Mike is saying you know you you so badly wanted to mentor Fitzsimmons you so badly wanted a daughter Daisy you know all of these just brief brief little glimpses and when it shows Mike as a as an EMT you know just yeah let's see and yeah, <laughs> I like when when you know Fitz is like, sure was lucky that one man saved the day, and Deke is like, 
you guys, you don't have to be, you know, yes, sure, I was super heroic, you know, and, and we get some more Zima product placement, yeah, Let's, and, and, you know, but after he's gone through the whole thing, Fitz is like, I, I meant death log, and, and, you know, Colson's like, that, yeah, goes without saying. And right, also a powerful moment earlier in the episode when when Daisy was like, "This isn't the framework, Leopold. No one is, you know. Even what was it? Even one sacrifice is too many, or something like that. You know, just yeah." And and Gemma steps in and and puts a an end to that. Yeah, when when Daisy gets really, yeah. Yeah, sometimes the the claws come out. She can be ruthless. Not the worst thing she said to Fitz. Still pretty. Actually, maybe it is. Come to think, there's a there's a list. You know. Let's see. Yeah, and and the Fitz. Are you stalling? Me stalling? Yeah, I I don't think so. And the, the you know the the. Yeah, you know, why, why do you say that? Because the elevator stopped a minute ago. <laughs> and it is genuinely sweet, the the wedding. And, you know, every just so that the show doesn't get too cheesy, you know, every so often it cuts to, to Deke and, and Deathlock. And, yeah, legitimately fun snarcasm with with them. And, and yeah, the... It's revealed that the the yeah Fitzsimmons is in fact the the grandparents of Deke, which is a, a cool reveal. Let's see, so I'm to be trivia. This is the hundredth episode of the series because that it pack, pack it's packed with a lot of callbacks. What happens in previous episodes? The title card is a mix of all seasons. Colson uses the phrase five by five, radio communications expression that means loud and clear. And let's see. Oh right, right, yeah. The one of the one of the logos at the at the title sequence was the Ghost Rider. Let's see. And huh. Um I don't know if that's a spoiler. I'm just gonna say there's a Doctor Who Another yet another Doctor Who reference in this, and yeah, this includes the wedding of Leo Fitz and Gemma Simmons, which the writers included as a moment that would satisfy longtime fans of the series. Deathlock appears for the first time since the Dirty Half Dozen, which yeah, way back near the end of season two. Yeah, when Mike Peterson's recreation is talking to Phil Coulson, he uses several phrases that Coulson himself used when talking to the real Mike Peterson. At the end of the pilot, it matters who you are, the good ones, the real deal. Mike tells Coulson, above all, he wants a chance to be a hero. Pilings with Mike being incapacitated after telling Coulson, I could, you know, be a hero. And yeah, several of the best quotes from the episode are in the memorable quotes section for the episode. Right, and, and yeah, um... I really appreciate the 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 mystery, which I don't. Yeah, I think by the end of this episode, we still. Let's see. Oh wait. Let's see, because Colson says the other thing we talked about. Do that no matter what happens, and they talk about it's symbolic. Maybe it's the wedding. And let's see. The I think that is Yeah, they have the entire Deke's entire monologue about you know Yeah, where he where he doesn't where he thinks that they're the ones that um, that he's the, that he's the one that they're saying was the one man. 
Right. Um, I appreciate that, you know, he, he's doing the thing with the phone and it doesn't seem to work out properly, but then later we see it, it must have. And, and yeah, at the end of the day, there's no reason, you know, just because we see him fail once doesn't mean he couldn't succeed later, but it does make us worried. So just, yeah, very nicely done. And What about that forest on level 27? You mean an overwhelming collection of branchy things with birds and bugs and the floor all covered in worms? Are you kidding? That's that's a horror show. 